Welcome back to Hamilton Life. It's based on the classic 1973 film starring Paul Newman and Robert Redford, which is amazing. The Sting, if you haven't seen it, do. But it brings all of that excitement and intrigue and suspense of that big con in the Depression era Chicago to the Aquarius stage. Joining me now from Theater Aquarius is Robin McCourt and Moy Vano. Hello. Good morning. The movie we, we uh, many of us know, uh, and if you haven't seen it, you've probably heard of it with Robert Redford and... and um, Paul Hold Newman. It. So that is now happening on the stage, and you guys are in it. Talk to me about your, um, what's fascinating is, and we'll get to this in a minute, your lawyers by day, actors in this show by night. Talk to me about your character first, Robin. So my character's name is Billy, and she is a sassy nightclub owner who's sort of in on the con with the bad guys that we're all rooting for. Okay. And Moy, well, who do you play? I play an FBI agent who's after the main hustler, who's been uh, apparently chasing after uh, for a long time. Okay. So the plan is, is to get, get the hustler. Acting is not your profession. So how did the, talk to me about the lawyers um, and how this all came to be that you've this, this group of people in the law field come together to perform. So it's a benefit for the Lawyers Legacy for Children Fund, the Ray Harris Fund, and I believe it's been going on for decades now. Um, and the original lawyers who started the tradition have been instrumental in continuing the tradition and keeping it going every five or six years or so. Wow. Do you like this creative outlet? Uh, it's it's nerve-wracking. It doesn't come naturally to me, for really? sure. No, in fact, uh, someone was asking me, and uh, and I said that I, I actually auditioned for the challenge. The problem is once you get the part, you have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so I should learn my lesson by but now. But this is crazy. You guys stand up in front of juries. You deal with difficult judges and, and the people on the other side of the table. Isn't that the hard stuff? Shouldn't acting on a stage be the easy stuff? Robin? Um... I think it's a mix. You know, when we're in the courtroom, that's, for me, my element and what I'm used to and what I'm prepared for. Standing up in front of an audience largely of your peers is something entirely different when you're putting yourself out there portraying a character outside your usual everyday life. Mm -hmm. There's a vulnerability there. Oh, that absolutely. sometimes really adds to the energy to find when you're on stage. That it just it gives you a little something else when you're up there. Um, so that being said, even though this isn't what you, you do as a profession, the, uh, uh, the Aquarius Theatre has thrown the money at this and created this wonderful professional production, right? Costumes? Tell me about your costumes. Oh, I have four different costumes, and they're all beautiful. I'm very excited about it. I love going to the wardrobe department, um, working with them. They're very colorful. I understand there's about 500 pieces that they've put together for the production, that it's going to be really something to see. Wow. And what's the set like? The set is pretty basic I would say um, but very malleable the way that everyone is helping out so when you're on the stage you're taking things off when you're leaving other people who are coming on they're bringing their things on so I love that so if you need it to sit in a chair mm -hmm. you'll walk in with the chair set you, it down and sit on it exactly love so it's, that. A, it's a really collaborative thing that you have to do it there's there's no time you know, so they, they've figured out how to make sure that you're, you're part of the scene, but you're bringing the scene on with you as well most of the times. Mm -hmm. so, so those backstage people, uh, that's you guys. Yeah. You guys yeah. are doing yeah, the work of that. Some of us, yeah. Fascinating. Okay, yeah. so well, we have to talk about some other stuff. Um, uh, what it's benefiting. Fill me in again on where their money's going. Yeah, so it's going to a fund called the Lawyer's Legacy for Children Fund, the Ray Harris Fund. <clears throat> which is an endowment fund managed by the Hamilton Community Foundation. I actually sit on the board of directors for it, and it's a wonderful organization. The idea behind it is that this is a fund contributed to by the lawyers of our community for children in our community, and each year we have a fairly sizable amount of money to grant out to a charity of our choice that sort of benefits the main goals of the fund. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And Ray uh, was uh, a senior lawyer 
um, very involved in um, plays um, outside of theater Aquarius um, larger than life personality was a judge um, and unfortunately Ray passed away a few years ago but he was always so passionate in wanting to do right by by the community and I think that that um, the passion you could always feel that from Ray and I think we're passing that um, along yeah mm. Aren't there some judges in the production? There are, yeah, there's a few. Are these judges you've had to face in the courtroom? Yep, every day. And now you're acting with them on the stage? That's right. Now for me, I knew them as lawyers, um, who then became judges because I've been around far longer than Robin. <laughs> um, but you don't know that they're judges, right, Robin? I don't no. think you even knew that. Yeah. Well, I was in the previous lawyer's show and met one of the judges uh, for the first time in our scene, and I was just a baby articling student at the time. Didn't even know she was a judge. She's so warm, so friendly, uh, and that is the community, the legal community in Hamilton. It's very collegial, and I think it speaks to that, which I think is unique to Hamilton. Really? Yes. Oh, how wonderful. And I think because you have lawyers, you have judges, you have paralegals in the play, um, it's an opportunity for people who do personal injury like myself to come across people like Robin who do criminal. We don't normally cross paths. Your orbits are a little bit Our different. Our orbits yeah. are different, That's so it's right. really nice to get to know everybody, quite honestly. Yeah. Beautiful. And everyone's feeling the same way, basically. You know, we're nervous, but there's an excitement to it because we all really want to do a good job. Yeah. You know, you've got your family, your friends, but you also know that you're, it's bigger than yourself, right? Wow. As we're doing something that's going to benefit the community. Get your tickets now. There are limited tickets left. Uh, the show is running May 30th to June 1st. It's going to be so much fun at Theatre Aquarius. Go see The Sting put on by The Lawyer's Legacy for Children. You guys, thank you so much for being here and good luck with the show. Ah, Break a leg. Thank you. Please thank come. Thank you so much. All thank right. you for having Please us. Come. I hope I never have to see you in the courtroom. <laughs> I get that a lot. As a defendant or <laughs> <laughs> or, or any reason. Thank you for being to, here. Yeah. Thank you. Um, uh, if you missed it, if you missed Mother's Day, it's never too late. After the break, Blossom Lane is going to be here with some fabulous floral uh, arrangements. Can't wait.